All right, everybody, listen, I was wrong, okay? Mac Studio doesn't suck, but Mac OS, on the other hand, it kind of does. Welcome, everyone. My name is Miguel Quiles, and yesterday I put out a video giving my kind of initial reactions to my purchase of the brand new Apple Mac Studio. Picked it up at my local Apple store. I paid for it. I bought it. It wasn't a review or a test unit or anything like that. Got super lucky. I kept refreshing the page because I was looking for the base model uh, Mac Studio that had the M1 Ultra chip. It was out of stock on day one, which was last Friday. Um, it was out of stock, but they said, listen, keep refreshing the page every day because we get shipments every day. I refreshed it yesterday. Lo and behold, it was in stock at my local Apple store. So I quickly hit buy, set up my appointment, went over there, picked it up and brought it back to my studio. Now, that's where yesterday's video picked up because I took this thing out of the box and it's beautiful. The machine is stunning. It looks amazing. It checks a lot of the boxes that I'm looking for. Uh, in a small desktop computer that's powerful that I can use for video editing and photo editing, all that good stuff. But I take it out of the box, plug it into the wall, plug it into my BenQ monitor. It seems like everything is working good. And the very first screen that I met with during that uh, setup process is a screen that's asking me to connect a Apple branded mouse or an Apple branded trackpad, both of which I do not own, okay? I owned in the past, I purchased a Mac uh, it was actually a MacBook many years ago, and I bought the uh, Magic Mouse and the keyboard that was available at the time. This was like 2016. I purchased those products, and even back then, I didn't care for the design. They stayed in a box. I eventually ended up selling it on Facebook Marketplace, and I bought a different keyboard, and I was fine. Um, so anyway, I don't have an Apple keyboard or an Apple Mouse to set up this Mac Studio. Um, but what I did have was a bunch of other Bluetooth mice um, and actually had, which I showed in the video, I had a wired HP keyboard, which I attempted to plug in and it kind of sort of worked, but it didn't work. Uh, it didn't register any of the key presses or anything like that, but you could hear that there was sounds that were coming from the Mac studio every time I would push a button. So it was recognizing there was a keyboard, but during the initial setup process of the Mac studio, it didn't want a keyboard. It wanted a mouse and it didn't just want any mouse. It wanted specifically an Apple branded mouse in order to get past that initial setup. So that's where I basically started off yesterday. And in that, first things first, I called Apple support. I explained to them, hey, I just bought the new Mac Studio and I can't get past this screen. I don't have an Apple mouse, what can I do? And the guy from Apple support said specifically third party mice and keyboards are not compatible with the Mac Studio. He doesn't see anything in any of the support docs. And this was after me waiting on hold for probably about four to five minutes uh, that he came back on the call. And so I immediately told him, I said, listen, so you mean to tell me that I just basically bought a $4,000 paperweight? Is that what you're saying? Because I can't do anything with this machine. I can't log in. I can't do anything without this mouse. And he's like, the only thing he could do was escalate my call. He's like, oh, I'll escalate this to the supervisor. I was like, you know what? I don't want to talk to a supervisor. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll figure it out. So I went to step two. I called some of my friends who are Apple users and I said, Hey, this is the situation. Do you guys have a Mac studio? They're like, no. Uh, but they said it should work. I'm like, I think it should work too, but it doesn't work. It doesn't recognize other Bluetooth devices. And it didn't seem to recognize any of the mice that I connected with the USB cable, but more on that in a second. I did an Instagram live asked people on my Instagram, Hey, give me some ideas here. What can we do? Right? This was all before I recorded yesterday's video. Everyone was like, yeah, I don't know. That's ridiculous. Right? So when I made my video yesterday, which many of you saw, a lot of you commented, thank you for the, for the comments and the feedback. Um, but when I made that video yesterday, I was doing it in part because I was frustrated that I spent $4,000 on this thing. And it's like, it specifically asking for a product, for setup that I don't have that wasn't included in the box. And then I was also doing it for tech support, right? Because I know many of you use Apple products. So I was hoping maybe someone would chime in the comments and we could figure it out and we'd be off to the races, which you did. And thank you all for doing that. Okay. Even though some of y'all were kind of mean in the comments, but you know what? It's okay. I get it. You know, a couple things here. So I was wrong. When you connect a mouse like the MX master three, even though it has a USB C, if you connect it to, the Mac Studio or any computer, it will not function as a wired mouse. That was my bad. Um, 
Yeah, this is my bad. Um, but I did dig around the studio and I did find this HP wired mouse, uh, which is the complement to the wired keyboard, which you guys saw in the video yesterday. Um, the wired mouse did work, so we were good there, right? The wired mouse let me go through the initial setup. Um, I was able to connect my Logitech keyboard and mouse. Everything was great. So a couple of things. I was wrong on the mouse situation. However, Mac Studio, we're gonna do a review about that shortly. We'll, we'll talk about that in a separate video. But what I wanna talk about today specifically is Mac's OS. And specifically, this ridiculous thing that you spend $4,000 on this Mac Studio, and it doesn't come with a mouse. That's, that's the first thing. The second thing is that it doesn't recognize other Bluetooth devices. Now, many of you were like, hey, you know, you have to have this Apple mouse um, or you have to have this wired mouse, which again, uh, no one told me this. This tech support didn't say anything. The Apple store rep didn't say anything when I bought the machine. He instead was talking to me about business. They have like a business sales thing um, and spent a bunch of time talking about that, but didn't ask any questions about whether or not I had a mouse or anything like that. When you start up the, the, the Mac Studio and it's asking you for that mouse or that trackpad, it's connecting through Bluetooth. And Bluetooth is an open standard. Why is it that it only looks for an Apple Bluetooth device? If Bluetooth is an open standard, why can I not turn on and put my regular Bluetooth mouse in pairing mode of any brand? I had this, I have a Corsair that I used in the video. None of them worked. Why can you not connect a non-Apple branded Bluetooth, which is an open standard? And I looked up the Magic Mouse, it's Bluetooth as well. And it does have wireless, I guess, and that wireless is just a regular standard, right? Why does Apple make this Mac Studio, right? It doesn't come with the mouse, and it won't let you set up with another third-party Bluetooth mouse. That, for me, is ridiculous. Like, that is, honestly, like, that's stupid. And for those of you who are, who are Apple supporters and you love Apple, listen, we, we, gotta, we gotta do better. We gotta demand things from brands and from these companies when they're coming out with these products, like that should never happen. Here's the thing, I spent around $1,700 about two years ago on this HP Z G5, I wanna say is the, the model, and it's basically like a Mac Mini, but like in a PC type of format, or rather it's a PC in a Mac Mini format. And that $1,700 PC came with this keyboard and mouse that I ultimately ended up using to get my Mac Studio working. Why am I getting a keyboard and mouse with pretty much any purchase of a PC, of a desktop, but yet my $4,000 Mac Studio can't even come with the most basic. Apple used to have like this little mouse just like this and it had like this little uh, round nub on it. I'll, I'll put a picture up on the screen here for you to see, but they used to include a mouse like that with their hardware. Now all of a sudden here we are spending $4,000 in 2022 and you can't even throw in like a $5 mouse? Come on, that's ridiculous. The next thing is I connected a keyboard to the Mac Studio. Why can I not go through the setup process on the Mac Studio just using the keyboard? If it recognized the keyboard, I should be able to tab through the initial setup process and just get the machine working. Now, yeah, maybe once I get past that process, I'll get to the OS, it'll start up, and it's, you're still gonna need a mouse, right? So that's fine. Maybe once it starts up, it could pop up with a Bluetooth screen that says, hey, we're searching for a Bluetooth device. And then it would allow me to connect my Logitech or whatever brand of Bluetooth uh, device it is that I have. That's what really burns me about this freaking Mac OS is that it's supposed to be so easy to use and so this and so that, but the most basic of things like connecting to a, a Bluetooth device, which you must have in order to set up your Mac Studio and effectively use it, it doesn't work. I'm trying to get into the ecosystem, right? And I wanna do it in a smart way. Um, for me, the Magic Mouse, the, the design doesn't work, the feel of it, I, I'm not a fan. Um, but it's cool because, you know, these devices have Bluetooth built in. You could use any Bluetooth keyboard and mouse that, you know, fits for your style and ergonomically and all that. And I found a device that works for me and I just wanna be able to use it. I'm using it with my MacBook Pro, everything is fine. Um, but that setup process for me literally wanted me, to, I, like I just wanted to take this thing, put it in the box, 
go back to the store and just be like, this is dumb, take it back. Now, many of you might be thinking, well, that's, that's extreme because the machine is this and it's that. But listen, guys, we really need to not make excuses for companies that do dumb stuff like that. If you are going to require for the setup of your machine, a mouse, include some form of mouse, freaking wired mouse. Again, look it up on Amazon. These things, if you get like a, you know, off brand mouse, they're probably like five bucks. It might, it might even be less than that. And I'm sure with Apple's scale, with their reach, they could make one of these things and it would cost nothing. And heck, you're spending four grand on this hardware. Charge me $4,010, $4,005. You know what I mean? Just so that when I get to my studio, after 25 minutes driving to the store, coming back here, at the very least, I have everything that I need to be able to get it to work. So Mac Studio doesn't suck. The OS, on the other hand, and that setup process, for me, is, is uh, really frustrating. So I got it to work, got all my apps and everything installed. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is give you guys a little bit of a first impressions, a test uh, using this machine for video editing. I'll do a separate video showing you what my experience has been editing my photos. Um, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. Anybody that you shared the first video with, share this one because it is the follow-up to yesterday's video. But listen, thank you guys so much for helping me out in that first video, commenting um, and helping me through that setup process. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.